Hey guys, today we're going to talk about the Lumentop IYP365. This is a new pen light that Lumentop is offering and you can pick this up directly through their Amazon store for 25 bucks and I'll put links to all that in the description. Now this thing comes in two different uh, configurations, one using the uh, XPG2 LED, the other using the Nichia 219B. Um, I guess the best way to describe it will make this kind of really simple. If you go with the Cree XPG2, it's a stronger LED, but it's uh, a very normal kind of cool white tint to it. If you go with the Nichia, it's not quite as powerful of an LED. You're not losing a ton, only, you know, 10, 15 lumens there. But the Nichia has a much better color tint to it. They're actually very well known for being a very... Uh, attractive tint you know for people who are um, sensitive to the tint color you know people who read a lot with, with flashlights and all that do tend to like the niches so if you are kind of torn between the two consider it this way more power with the XPG2 better color with the niche so whatever's more important for you go with that uh, that one so this is a very simple three mode flashlight the low mode is 1.5 lumens and it'll last you around 50 hours. Medium mode, 25 lumens for 25 hours. And the high mode, 125 lumens for 35 minutes. It's uh, going to start out on low, go to medium and then high, and then repeat. Uh, 0.9 volts to 3 volts, so you cannot use uh, lithium ion 10 440s. Excuse me, IPX8 waterproof standard, impact resistant to 1.5 meters, O ring sealed, max beam distance of 45 meters. It's got the uh, double side uh, anti uh, reflective coated tempered glass, which is pretty, you know, pretty rare to see in such a small light. Usually a lot of people don't bother. And it also has the glow in the dark O ring reflector. So now that we got all that stuff out of the way. What did I find in my testing? You know I do all that crazy testing. Graphs and charts and all that jazz. I actually found that with an alkaline battery, I got uh, just about 30 minutes. But as you can see, it really only had about 10 minutes of good light. Whereas with uh, some Eneloop Pros, which are the uh, rechargeables, I ended up getting about 70 minutes. So I actually got more than what the, you know, of course they obviously advertise with the, the alkalines, but with the... Uh, rechargeables you're going to get a good 70 minutes of light out of this as far as uh, lumens as you can see for alkaline i got 0 18 and 110 with enna loops i got 2 19 and 115 so very close to the advertised specifications which is awesome now i really like this guy this one not only does this thing really carry well in the pocket but it looks very nice i mean you can see it's got this nice little kind of gold inlay in there very simple, nice design. It does kind of swell at the head there, so it's a little bit thicker. Also swells at the tail cap. The uh, pocket clip, you can see here, is built into the light and it thread goes under the uh, tail cap. So that is kind of permanently affixed. It will not pop off. It's thick enough for some jeans, but not all. If you have a really thick pair of jeans on, that's going to be quite a squeeze to get that on there. Holds really good in the pocket. Does really good in a shirt pocket, by the way. And you can see it's got the kind of gold inlay at the top there. Metal... <coughs> Whoa. <coughs> I almost died. Um, metal switch on the top. I really like that, guys. I really love metal switches. And it is proud as well, which is kind of unusual for uh, pen lights, which I think is kind of neat. It just uh, gives it a whole different look, makes it a little easier to turn on and off. So it does have that metal proud switch. I think it looks really nice. You have the orange peel reflector as usual, that uh, anti-reflective coated glass. And you can see in there is the uh, Nichia LED and that little glow-in-the-dark O-ring in there, which looks kind of greenish. So it also has a reverse tail switch. So what you're doing is actually releasing the switch when you're turning it on. And as I mentioned, it's going to start in that low mode. Didn't start low. Oh, it starts in medium. What am I thinking? It goes, uh, when you turn this thing on, it's going to do medium, 
low than high. So I did misspeak earlier. So a reverse clicky basically is in the on position while the light is off and you're actually releasing it. And then what that allows you to do is then switch through modes while the light is on. So I do prefer that because I don't want momentary on a light that's going into my pocket because what ends up happening is every time you bend over the light turns on for a momentary and uh, will drain pretty quickly so I always prefer the reverse uh, switch in any kind of pen or EDC style light I didn't have any issues with it turning on at all you know it's once again it's a having a good reverse clicky switch you're usually not going to have that problem and when you do it's got a very loud report to it, so you're going to hear it, or feel it at least. It's got a very, uh, it's a very stiff switch. So overall, I think 25 bucks. this is a really good contender. It's just as good as a lot of the competition out there. Not as strong. There are some, you know, some of the through lights uh, are well over 150 lumens. There's other ones out there that actually, I think, hit 200 lumens. So it's not the most powerful light on the market, but what you're getting is a very nice, very appealing pen light that's built really well I just I think a lot of this is the looks number one it looks really good and number two anytime I get the chance to buy a Nichia LED I always do it because you know I'm not very sensitive to tint but I do like it when I'm reading things you know and you turn this on I mean number one it's a very nice kind of diffused beam there's no really really bright hot spot but if you are looking say at a wire you know um, maybe like a really pale yellow wire, I think you get a better idea of the color as opposed to when you're doing something that's cool white that may have, you know, a little bit of a yellow or a greenish tint to it. So I think this is a really good light when it comes to if you are someone who needs to pick out between a pale yellow and a white, you know, piece of line or whatever, this can be very beneficial. I think they just look nice. Uh, another thing too, this has no PWM which what that is is pulse width modulation. That's something they do uh, in cheap flashlights to regulate the light. It's actually not seeing it here. I don't know if it would show up on camera like that, but it is not there. Because what it is is basically it's like a, a very, very fast strobe to regulate the power as opposed to just ramping it down using a circuit. And often it's done in cheap flashlights. It's not here. You're not seeing it. So that is one good positive. All right, so there it is. Simple easy to use very nice looking I think it has a really nice look it even tail stands guys a little wobbly on this table because I got the thing on here but it will tail stand normally <laughs> on a nice flat table you will tail stand and you know of course with that pen clip you know, it's not going to roll away on you but I just think it's a really good nice looking light fits very well in the pocket good switch I think it's really important to a pen light as they have a good switch and that option for the Nichia is just uh, really really important to me so I think overall this is a really good light for the money I think it holds its own you know unless you're really looking for top lumens this is a light to consider you can see it's just really good fit and finish all the way around really nice looking light just all the way through very happy with it all together I love that tail switch guys I just can't say enough about it I think it just looks so sleek, you know, just very professional look to it, if you ask me. So, there you go. There it is. Lumen Top IYP, a new light that they have out on the market.